It's time for another edition of What to Buy for the Month of July, where we take a look at the upcoming PlayStation 4 games and decide on which games that you should look to be buying and which games are better off waiting for a sale on. As always, this is a lot of speculation on my part, but I have a pretty good idea in terms of knowing how games are going to turn out and when games are going to go on sale. And with this month's lineup, it's a little bit easier because we do have a couple of remasters and collections and definitive editions and sequels, so we already know how those games are going to turn out. But without further ado, let's get right into this. And starting things off, July 10th will bring the release of Shining Resonance Refrain, and I would say that is a buy. That might be a little bit surprising to you because this does look to be a lower budget JRPG. However, let me explain. If you're a fan of Japanese RPGs, Shining Resonance Refrain is gonna be a game to check out. You're gonna enjoy it. If you're not into JRPGs, of course, you're not gonna buy it. This is one to avoid. Look at the track record of Sega published Japanese titles, especially with the Yakuza games. They tend to hold their value for quite a while. Yakuza 0 just now got a price drop. And you can finally get that game on sale and that game released all the way back in January of 2017 So if you're comfortable with waiting 16 or 18 months to get this game at a discounted price Then by all means wait But if you're more eager to check out Shining Resonance Refrain and considering it has seen comparisons to the Tales of series And Shining Resonance has been around for a while now JRPG fans This is one to check out it is coming at a discounted price of $49.99 already But I don't believe it's gonna get much cheaper than that in the coming months I want to help. By the Emperor's will, the invasion of Alfheim continues under my supreme authority. Your Beowulf now obeys me. All troops march! Trishula, forward! As long as there is life in our bodies, the Emperor... Next up, another buy has to be Sonic Mania Plus. Now, we already know how Sonic Mania turned out. If you already own the game, the content of Plus will be released as downloadable content. But Sonic Mania Plus is the definitive version of Sonic Mania, which was already a great game. And it's adding a lot of extra content. It's adding more playable characters in Mighty the Armadillo, as well as Ray the Flying Squirrel. On top of that, there's a new zone. The competition mode is expanded and allows up to four players. There's an encore mode added to the game. That mode features remix zones with vision changes, a save and playback function for speed run attempts, optimize difficulty for boss fights, and so on. We already know how good Sonic Mania was. Again, if you already own the game, there's no reason to go out and buy this. But for those of you that have yet to play Sonic Mania, you holding off did pay dividends as Sonic Mania Plus is the base game with a lot of extra content and it'll be releasing on July 17th. Next up, another one where I have to say is an absolute buy, Mega Man X Collection 1 and Mega Man X Collection 2. Now, these are coming in one bundle. If you buy the game from retail, you get both games. Really, you get eight games because Mega Man X Collection 1 has Mega Man X1 through X4, X Collection 2 has X5 through X8. Now, all of the X games were not created equal. I think most would point at X7 being not so great, but the first four X games are fantastic. I didn't even think X7 was as bad as everybody else thought, and X8 was alright too. The fact of the matter is you're getting eight games for $40. That's $5 a piece. And yes, the X games aren't incredibly long. If you're decent at the games, you could probably complete them in three hours each. But still, taking a look at that, that's 24 hours of content. And honestly, three hours is probably a little bit conservative. And the fact is there's reason to replay the games because a lot of them feature multiple playable characters. There's a lot of value in this collection. And there's a new mode where you can fight two bosses at the same time. The visuals have seen a little bit of a refinement, but you can do only so much with pixel visuals. But these collections will be released on July 24th, absolute buy, especially if you've been a fan of Mega Man. Next up, another game I would say is a buy is the Banner Saga 3. Now, the Banner Saga 3 is a buy if you've played the Banner Saga 1 and 2 because these are story-driven games and the Banner Saga 3 is closing out the trilogy. However, if you've never played the Banner Saga, I should let you know that there is a Banner Saga trilogy being released at retail, including all three of the games, and it'll be coming to at $40. What a great deal that is to get all three of the Banner Saga games in one collection. I've been talking about how underrated of a franchise the Banner Saga is, and with that collection, that is a great way to get into the series. Series. And at just $40, I would say that is very good. If you've already played the Banner Saga 1 and 2, you know how good of a game these are, and the Banner Saga 3 is going to be right up your alley once again as it's being released on July 24th. Again, if you've yet to try out the franchise, the collection is going to be your buy. Dread champions called Sunder lead the Jet Black armies as they cut a swath across the land. The unkillable warlord Bellower 
and shape-shifting Eyeless have been waylaid only by the cunning of mankind's most powerful spellweavers. But in dark and quiet places, men trade whispers of more on the way. With countless dredge descending upon humanity's last bastion, and the darkness... And finally, a recently announced game for July is Chasm, and I would say this is a buy as well. Coming to the market at $19.99, Chasm is a game that's been in development for six years, and it's a Metroidvania-style game where the maps are always different because they're a construction of a couple of pre-made levels, so you always get a new experience. And the game itself has you play as a new recruit undertaking your first mission for the Gildian Kingdom. Thrilled to prove your worth as a knight, you track strange rumors that a mine vital to the kingdom has been shut down, but what you discover in the mining town is worse than you imagine the townspeople have disappeared kidnapped by supernatural creatures emerging from the depths so the story isn't anything outstanding but the game does have an awesome art style and again 1999 isn't an absolute insane price and it looks like this is going to be another game with a good amount of replay value i would say this is a cautious buy this is however a game i would tell you to be in tune with the reviews and whatnot because it is a brand new ip been in development for six years but i'm really liking how that game is shaping up So those are all of the games that are buys, and there's quite a few of them. Obviously, all of those games don't cater towards everyone. Not everybody is going to be super into Japanese RPGs. And at that point, I wouldn't say Shining Resonance Refrain is your cup of tea. You already own Sonic Mania. No reason to pick up Sonic Mania Plus. Mega Man X Collection 1 and 2. I think if you're into side-scrolling action games, those are absolute buys. The Banner Saga is fantastic. And Chasm looks to be a really cool title. Now let's move on to the games that I think you're better off waiting for a sale on. Kind of funny, the month of July is actually bringing another Mega Man-style game and that's 20xx this is one i would say wait for a sale on just because the Mega Man x collection is coming out so why not just get that but this game is definitely inspired by Mega Man x you shoot and slash enemies and complete difficult platforming levels to finish a stage these stages however are generated randomly based on level segments or chunks and 20xx does allow for both local and online co-op so if that interests you maybe 20xx is a game that you should check out instead the game has already been released on pc and it's gotten a really positive reception however with the x collection coming out i would rather get that and then wait for 20xx to go on sale but maybe some of you want to go the other way pick up 20xx and then wait for the x collection to go on sale whatever you choose there's really no way you can go wrong The next game is one that I'm really excited for, and I'm going to cautiously put it at a sale. I was really debating putting it as a sale or a buy, and that is the Spectrum Retreat. The Spectrum Retreat is a game that has been slowly gaining a little bit of anticipation, and it's described as a challenging first-person puzzle game set in the near future. You awake at the Penrose Hotel, a peaceful yet unsettling refuge from the outside world, and as a valued guest, your existence is embedded into the corridors and the guest rooms of the Penrose. This is a game that many gamers are describing to be some sort of portal-style game, and considering Valve has invented visited Portal in a very long time. Getting a game like that is very interesting, but in terms of the ambiance and presentation, the Spectrum Retreat is definitely at another level, and it's coming July 10th, one that I would probably wait on a sale for, especially if you're not completely sold on puzzle games, as I know a lot of you are not. I hope you had a restful sleep, and I do apologize for the disturbance. Hopefully you recall requesting this wake-up call. We're here to ensure your stay is as comfortable as can be. Morning. I hope you are well. Breakfast is being served in our restaurant. Next up, another game that's definitely a way for a sale is Earthfall. Earthfall is a cooperative shooter where the world is ending and the fight begins. You gather your friends, load your weapons, and grab your portable defenses and work together as a team to battle through swarms of ferocious aliens. So you get the gameplay gist of it. A little bit of Left 4 Dead, a little bit of Killing 4. Considering that Killing 4 2 is out on the PS4 and so many of you have it, Earthfall doesn't seem to be offering anything super revolutionary, but it does seem to nail the fundamentals. It touts 10 epic levels full of brutal combat and rich lore, it has you complete objectives, fortify and defend holdouts and use 3D printers to create more weapons. A little bit zany of a game, but Earthfall will be released on July 13th, one game that I would wait until it's at least $20 or less. 
Swarm coming! Everybody stay focused! Don't let us down now! We gotta pull together! Barricade ready! Get it together! Here they come! Guys! There's a printer here! Printing complete. I was not put on this hurry to die like a dog. And the last game that I would say wait on a sale for is Mother Gunship, a bullet hell FPS where you craft your own guns, fight gigantic bosses, play together with your friends, and defeat a robotic alien armada that conquered Earth. You face off against overwhelming odds in a brutal non-stop combat where thinking on your feet is the only way to survive. Now this is a game that does look really cool, and a game that I will be definitely picking up at some point. It is being released at $24.99, which does seem a little bit expensive. I could very well see this game being discounted rather quickly, probably by fall time during a big Black Friday digital sale, I could see this being $15 or less, and at that point, I would definitely give this a look, because it does look to be a pretty stylistic game. Mother Gunship is releasing on July 17th. So that is the rundown of games I believe are buys and games that I would wait on a sale for. A lot of cool games, and a lot of games that are priced less than $60. Actually, every single one of those buy games are less than $60, so you don't have that gigantic investment off the bat, and that definitely makes it easier to say buy for them. A couple of other games that are interesting, but I would wait on a sale for as well. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.